When it comes to GPUs, Nvidia sure knows how to make one hell of a product. Unfortunately though, with the last few generations, the prices are just too damn high. But knowing what we've talked about in previous videos here on the channel, let's fix the RTX 4060 Ti. Hey guys, Turk here. I hope you're having a good one. Here on my channel, I love to talk all things tech, including PC hardware like CPUs and GPUs, and I even touch my toe into a little bit of handhelds like the Steam Deck we've got back here. But in our previous video, we dissected and talked about all of the latest NVIDIA GPUs from the 1000 series all the way to the 4000 series, where we talked about historic pricing, historic performance, and where NVIDIA as well as gamers start to slip up a bit when it comes to, you know, understanding what the 4000 series has to offer. But over the past couple days, leaks are coming out from the likes of video cards as well as Red Gaming Tech that have been covering the RTX 4060 Ti. But a long story short, these creators are referencing a tweet from a prominent Twitter leaker, copity 7 kimmy where they talk about the total board power running at 160 watts and a potential target performance level of right at an RTX 3070. Given what we know about the GPU market from our previous video, as well as these performance targets, I think we have the information in hand to fix the 4060 Ti in order to be a great value for gamers. The first thing Nvidia can do is improve its performance. If the rumors are true and the 4060 Ti only matches the 3070, there's really just no reason to upgrade or improve because you can still buy a 3070 right now. Typically, the 60 and 60 Ti variant GPUs historically match the performance of the previous generation's 80 series cards. For us, that would mean the 4060 Ti would match the 3080's performance. If we use Hardware Unbox's latest GPU market performance data, they were able to measure with their 6 game average at 4K in medium settings, 95 FPS. This type of performance from a 4060 Ti would be an instant win, especially since this class of card doesn't typically target high-end resolutions. If we want to be a little bit less optimistic, what happens if it matches the 3070 Ti? Between the 3080 and the 3070 Ti, we do lose about 18 FPS at 4K resolutions. Still, that's about a 10% performance improvement better than what is currently being speculated. But if we want to go to a more realistic and less optimistic performance level, the 4060 Ti might only perform just as good as the 3060 Ti, coming in right between 64 FPS and 70 FPS. Given these performance estimates, how does this translate into value? Here in blue we have the RTX 3060 Ti, and in yellow we have the current speculation for the 4060 Ti. This assumes an MSRP of right around $500, which is about in line with what most of the leakers suggest. If we go to the 3070 Ti as well as the RTX 3080 performance levels, we are clearly ahead in terms of value when compared to the current value champion of the 3060 Ti. But if we get a more pessimistic performance result, Closer to the 3060 Ti, we start to slip below the current 3060 Ti and even the 3060. Obviously, we would love to see more performance out of this graphics card, but in terms of value, all of these different performance targets, except for the 3060 Ti, do appear to be at least better value than most of the other 4000 series cards that have currently launched. And if we take a look at my new calculation, performance per dollar improvement, our value at our current speculation is actually better than the value offered by the 4070 Ti. Unfortunately, when it comes to value, it doesn't match the 3060 Ti, but if the performance targets are better than what we have seen so far, this graphics card is gonna be better value than any 3000 or 4000 series card on the market. Unfortunately, at this stage in the development cycle, it's going to be very difficult for Nvidia to boost the performance of its graphics card, especially if it matches what Copity 7 Kimmy is able to leak. We'll have to wait for official reviews to show us the true performance numbers, but we can take this data and kind of bookend our expectations of what we should see from the card. But the one thing that Nvidia can definitely change going into the release is the card's price. 
Right now, the 4060 Ti is currently being speculated to cost less than $500, but for the sake of argument, I'm going to just leave it at a $499 MSRP just to keep things simple. Now, historically, the 60 Ti grade graphics cards usually cost right at $399, so I'm going to be using that as our best case scenario. Of course, Nvidia wants to put its hands down our pockets and get all the money it can, and then AIBs are going to add additional, I guess, value to the graphics cards, so I would say the upper limit for this type of graphics card would be right at $599. Taking these pricing targets into account in terms of value, obviously the $400 graphics card is going to be our best option, and it will be clearly the best value graphics card from the 3000 and 4000 series GPUs. Right now, the 3060 Ti is coming out on top when it comes to performance per dollar, but the current speculation of the 4060 Ti at $500 isn't that far off. In fact, it is actually a bit better in terms of raw value when compared to the 4070 Ti. But if Nvidia decides to launch the card higher than $500, and if AIB prices adds more cost to the card to about $600, this $600 4060 Ti starts to compete with an RTX 3080 and even the RTX 4080. And we all know how popular the 4080 is when it comes to value. Converting this metric into my more consumable performance per dollar improvement, clearly the $400 card is 15% more valuable than an RTX 3060 Ti, while the current speculation of the 4060 at $500 is only about 8% shy. But if we get that RTX 4060 Ti anywhere close to the $600 price point, we're losing value in the range of 23%. So what do I think the 4060 Ti is going to look like in terms of value when looking at the best case scenario versus what I think would be the worst case scenario? Now in the best case scenario, the 4060 Ti would be priced at what it would be historically set at and would perform also at that same historic level. So that would be 3080 performance coming in right at $400. In the worst case scenario, the 4060 Ti is gonna perform a bit better than the 3060 Ti and is going to be priced right at $500. Taking that into account, Nvidia would historically see a 50% value proposition compared to the 3060 Ti as opposed to 30% less value compared to its predecessor. But if we take into account current speculation that's running at 3070 performance levels and costing right around $500, it's not that far off from the 3060 Ti. And as we said in the pricing discussions from earlier, it has comparable value to the 4070 Ti, granted it costs significantly less. I don't think the 4060 Ti is going to land at either of these extremes, but this chart is mainly to help level set us in terms of what type of value we should see from the 4060 Ti. With the current speculated values right at the 3070 and costing right around $500, it lines up with what we've seen from the 4000 series up to this point, but we can always hope that Nvidia launches at maybe $450 and that MSRP levels are actually indicative of what the market's going to want to cost. And if that's the case, I think the 4060 Ti might be a reasonable upgrade option for anyone on 1000 series or 2000 series GPUs. But what do you guys think about the 4060 Ti? Do you think the speculation is correct? Do you think it's going to perform worse, perform better? And ultimately, what do you think it's going to cost? Let me know down in the comments because I always want to hear y'all's thoughts. As for me, I've got a really cool video with Unreal Engine 5 on the Steam Deck geared up for later in the week. So make sure you hit subscribe and hit that bell icon so you will be alerted when that video drops. But thank you guys for sticking to the end of the video. I hope y'all have a good one. Catch y'all in the next one.